Hello and welcome to Chanakya IS Academy. I am Priya Kumari and today's special current affair topic is 2020 was one of the hottest years on record. This was in news recently, so we will look on this topic one by one. So relevance of this topic can be seen that this is important for you in prelims point of view as it is important in your Indian and world geography paper, especially that physical part of world and Indian geography. and then also it is relevant because of current events of national and international importance we will see why one by one and then relevance is in mains exam also because it is important in gs3 paper especially your uh, biodiversity disaster management and uh, environment point of view so do pay attention on this topic so why this topic was in news because 2020 has been recorded as one of the hottest years by various agencies especially NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies says that 2020 was the hottest year on record tying with 2016 which held the previous record for the hottest year the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Centers for Environmental Information has also said that 2020 was the second warmest year on record since 1880 when it started maintaining its records so the year 2020 was the joint hottest year on record globally along with 2016 so this is according to european union's copernicus climate change service so key details of this reports by various agencies says that the past two decades that is 2001 to 2010 and 11 to 20 were also the warmest decades on record with anomalies of 0.23 degree celsius and 0.34 degree celsius respectively indicating the overall rising temperature so 12 out of the 15 warmest years since 1901 were during the past 15 years itself like between 6 and 2020 then india's average annual mean temperature during 1901 to 2020 showed an increasing trend of 0.62 degree celsius per 100 years so it also showed significant increasing trend in maximum temperature that is 0.99 degree centigrade per 100 years and relatively lower increasing trend that is 0.24 degree centigrade per 100 years in minimum temperature so during 2020 the annual mean land surface air temperature averaged was 0.29 degree celsius above normal the five warmest years on record in order were 16 2009 2017 2010 and 2015 and the 2020 northeast monsoon season rainfall over the country as a whole was normal so these are the key details or say datas as per the latest report so what are the reasons cited by the various agencies so decades of greenhouse gas emission set the stage for this year's events human produced greenhouse gas emissions are largely responsible for warming the earth so these activities include burning fossil fuels such as coal oil and natural gas which release greenhouse gases forming an insulating blanket which traps heat near the earth surface then carbon dioxide levels have increased by over 50% since the industrial revolution began 250 years ago while the level of methane has more than doubled so this has warmed the earth by about 1 degree celsius since this period so what are the implications so scientists have said average temperatures will keep edging upwards due to huge amount of greenhouse gases that humans are expelling into the atmosphere then scientists also suggest that equivalent of a permanent el nino is added as an event worth of global warming in just the last 5 years like this sentence actually means that el nino was uh, not that frequent but because of uh, human induced this el nino phenomena is now frequently added now rising heat in the atmosphere and water is causing glaciers to melt rising sea levels as well as helping fuel larger and more destructive storms 
then wild fires fueled by vegetation by prolonged heat ravaged huge areas of california and australia last year while the arctic experienced astonishing temperatures well above average so the number of tropical uh, cyclones globally was above average in 2020 with 96 cyclones as of the 17 november 2020 in india also cyclone amphan was the costliest tropical cyclone on record for the north indian ocean so the more data than risk is that approximately 10 million displacements largely due to hydro meteorological hazards of and disasters these were recorded during the first half of 2020 mainly concentrated in south and southeast asia and the horn of africa in 2020 the covid-19 pandemic also added a further dimension to human mobility concerns this covid-19 pand- pandemic also added another layer of risk to evacuation recovery and relief operations related to high impact em- events and after decades of decline the recent increase in food insecurity since 14 is driven by conflicts and economic slowdown as well as by climate variability and extreme weather events nearly 690 million people or 9% of world population were undernourished and about 750 million experienced severe levels of food insecurity in 2019 so this data was presented by fao that is food and agriculture organization so number number of people classified under crisis emergency and famine conditions had increased to almost 135 million people across 55 countries so what are the lessons learned so negative env- environmental effects include impacts on land such as droughts wildfire in forest and peatland areas land degradation sand and dust storms desertification and air pollution with far reaching implications for nature and wildlife So according to IMF the current global recession caused by COVID-19 pandemic makes it challenging to enact the policies needed for mitigation but it also presents opportunities to set the economy on a greener path in order to boost investment in green and resilient public infrastructure thus supporting GDP and employment during the recovery phase So yesterday this question was asked Uh, which of the following institution organization releases india innovation index so the correct answer is c that is niti aayog as well as india the institute for competitiveness so today the question is amphan nisarga and gati these terms were seen in news very frequently so these terms are associated with option a cyclone option b missile option c government of india scheme option d none of the above so please comment your answer in the comment box till then goodbye and take care we will meet you in the next topic don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update